All right, the crazy sober coffee dude is at it again. And I had a lot of requests for this over the weekend, let me tell you. So I figured I better do a review on this. We are looking at Dream Studio for all of you multimedia enthusiasts out there. We'll take a look at that right after I'm done having freeze-dried caffeine. Okay, let's begin. All right, we are looking at Dream Studio today, and Dream Studio contains all the apps you need to create stunning graphics, captivating videos, inspiring music, and professional websites. Available as a free download, Dream Studio can be run directly from DVD, installed to your hard drive, or even installed onto a USB flash drive for ultimate and portability. And uh, here's some of the included software. It comes with Cinelara, Ardor, Blender, Inkscape, Synfig Studio, Scribus, Darktable, The Gimp, Composer, Bombano, and Dream Studio also includes drum machines like Hydrogen. Uh, there are a lot of applications that this comes with, as you will see here, and I'm going to go through that listing of applications here. All right. First, I'm looking at this in live CD mode, and uh, right when it comes in, uh, you'll see that it already has Jack pre-configured and uh, ready to go, which is really nice because in my experience, I've tried to use Jack before, and it's a little bit difficult. It was a little bit difficult for me to configure, and personally, on my main system where I'm running Arch here, I really don't have need to use that. There are benefits to using Jack, though. It is a low latency audio server. Okay, let's have a look here on our left side of the panel, and we'll go ahead and pull up uh, uh, the Dash Home and look at some of the applications that you get with this. All right, now the first tab is your Home tab that gives you the link to Firefox, viewing photos, checking email, or listening to music. And in multimedia apps, you get 72 of them. And if we uh, drop this lens down here, you will see that there are a lot of applications. I've already covered some of them. And uh, some of these I can't even pronounce. But you can see that there is a huge listing of them. I Iolus, uh, Alsa Modular Synth, AM Synth, Ardor Digital Audio, Audacity, great audio editing program, bar none, probably my favorite. Uh, Banshee Media Player, Bitmeter, Bombano DVD, Brezero, CAF Plugin Pack for Jack, Celtics, Sonolera DJ Play, Echo Mixer, uh, NV24 Control, FFA Do Mixer, Frequency tr Tweak, Genpo, G Natural Binatural Beat, Gnome Ulsa Mixer, GNU, GNU Denemo, GTK Lick, Guitarix, HDS Config, HDSP Mixer, Hexter, Horgand Hydrogen Drum Machine. Now that's a cool little program. I've had a chance to play with that one. You get JAAA, Jack EQ, Jack Mixer, Jack Network Manager, Jack Rack, Jack Time Machine, JA Min, Japa with Alsa support, Japa with Jack support, Jost, J Sampler Fantasia, Kazam Screencaster. All right, you also get the Linux Multimedia Studio. Now, for those of you who have tried FL Studio or Fruity Loops in Windows, this is a wonderful replacement for it, and it's a lot of fun to play with. You get Lives, LV2 Rack, Meter Bridge, Mini Computer, Mix, Movie Player, MX44, Nekabee, Open Shot Video Editor, very nice, easier to use editing solution. You get a Pathage, uh, PhaseX, a Pulse Audio Equalizer, Pulse Audio Volume Control, Pure Data, QJack Control, QS Synth, Q Extractor, uh, Rack to Rack, 
Regimedia Control, SEQ24, Smasher Smiles, Sonic Visualizer, Super Looper, Ooh. Sound Converter, Sound Recorder, Specimen, Stop Motion, Tux Guitar, Virtual MIDI Keyboard, Win FF, XJADEO, Yoshimi, Zeta Rev, and Zin Jack U. And it also gives you some options for other applications that you can download. Okay, and there are a number of other applications that you can use with Dream Studio. There are accessibility applications which are listed here. Now, uh, it may take a moment to display these because I am looking at this in live CD mode. You get onboard and Orca screen reader under accessories. There are a ton of accessories that come with this as well. The Archive Manager Backup Rosero, Calculator, Character Mac, Disk Usage Analyzer, Disk Utility, uh, File Manager, Help, iBus, Run Lens, Screenshot, Search for Files, Shutter Terminal, Text Editor. Uh, you have customization options that are available to you. All of them are easily accessed through this menu, and I'm not going to really go through all of them. But you can see that for the download size, you are getting a lot of applications in here. And there are items here in your quick launch. But if there's something that you're going to be using regularly, and if you're using HT designing HTML, you have Composer here, you can easily just drag this over to your lenses on the side here, and it will place it there for you. Apparently, it's not behaving that way for me right now. Let's see if it'll do that for me. Okay, it's not playing nice with me in the live CD mode. Apparently, I have to wait until I have that little tiny icon here showing. In. Okay, but at any rate, that's how you normally would do it. It's just not behaving for me today. All right, one thing I would have really liked to have seen is some additional documentation on all of the media files, especially for all of you multimedia enthusiasts out there who have a specific box that you use for creating all your multimedia tiles, titles, and it doesn't have access to the Internet. I know uh, my business partner, for one, has his multimedia machines, and none of them have any Internet access, just internal intranet access for transferring files from computer to computer. Uh, so having the additional documentation, I think, would have been a nice thing for this. But all in all, this is a complete distribution for your multimedia needs, and I definitely recommend trying this out if you have a computer that is modern by today's standards, preferably a computer with lots of memory and maybe more than one core running. If you thought this review was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, please send me a private message. I'll try my best to answer your questions, and if I don't know the answer, I'll at least try to point you in the right direction. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.